Hi, this is Joseph Lebrec, and I'm going to be going through a new feature in Adobe Edge Preview 4, um, dealing with text and using web fonts within an Edge composition. So this composition I have here, if we run this, uh, we can see it's a simple composition with uh, basically a pendulum and some, some text. So this text that we have is actually um, web fonts. So this is text that's coming in from uh, an external source, in this case uh, Google Fonts. You can use web fonts within Edge from something like Typekit or Google Web Fonts, which is usually a little more accessible to some people um, because you don't, it's not a service that you pay for, right? So <clears throat> the way you do this is um, if you look inside of Edge in the library, We've got um, assets, we've got symbols, and then we have fonts. And you can see here I'm using a font called Love by the King. And if I double click on that, I get the Edit Web Font dialog where I can specify the name of the font. So this is gets set, as you see here, to font family in our CSS. And the only other thing I really have to do is place the embed code in here that I get from uh, the font service. You can see here I can also go and create fallback fonts. So perhaps I'd want to just use cursive as a fallback. I can save that. Then when I'm going in and actually editing any of this text, you can see here that when I choose my font, any custom defined fonts will show up right here. So I can change that to Verdana, which is just one of the, the normal fonts you can use on the web. Or I can switch to Love by the King, which will fall back to Cursive. And it works really, really well. If you go in to Google Web Fonts, we're just going to say, hey, let's start choosing fonts here. And you can go through a number of different categories, um, what type of script you want, with slant, thickness, and so forth. I'm just going to scroll down until I see one that I like. And there are quite a few here. So perhaps this one, uh, Frederica the Great. So let's do quick use. And if we scroll down here, oh, and this is something <laughs> to have a look at too. Um, you know, a, a font like this, you can see it's got all sorts of little little bits and pieces to it. And the page load on this font, you can tell is in the red. So you might not want to use this, or you might want to think about using it, depending on your situation. So here is the embed link that we can just copy and go back to Edge. And we'll define a new font. So click the little plus button there and pop in our embed code. So there it is. And then we can go back to Google Web Fonts and all we need to do is paste in this little string here, Frederick of the Great, into our fallback list. And we can define more fallbacks if we want to and hit Add Font. So now we have two custom web fonts here. And if I want, I can go in and choose Frederick of the Great. And you can see that that actually uh, works now. If I go in and control enter, you can see that that first one definitely was Frederica the Great. And these others that come in are actually um, the older uh, typeface that I used.